everyone and welcome back to our third maths lesson. You're doing really, really well. So today we're going to warm up by looking at a die. Have you seen one of these before? You might have done in school or even if you've been playing some games with your family at home. And on the die or dice are some spots and they tell you what number they are. So I wonder if you can have a little look and see what number you think that might be. That's right, it's number one. What's that one then? That's number two. Number three. Mm. Number four. Number five. Oh, can you see number five has got one in the middle? And the last one has got number six. We learnt about six yesterday, didn't we? And we learnt that three add three makes six. And you can see that on the dice here. So, I'm going to play a very quick game. I'm going to spin my dice and stop it. And you've got to shout out the number as loud as you can. Do you think you can do that? Okay, are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. Three, well done. Last one, two. Well done. Okay, I think our brains might be all warmed up. Okay, so for our learning today, we're going to learn a different number. You might think it's number seven because you've worked out that seven is one more than six, which is what we did yesterday, but it's not. And I've got a friend here. Ah, this is Isono the elephant from our story. Can you say hello to her? He loves bananas, just like Asraboa the monkey, don't you? <laughs> In fact, I think he likes them even more and sometimes takes them from Asraboa the monkey. In fact, we've got so many up there. I think I'm going to need your help to count them. Is that okay? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ten bananas, all for you. <laughs> okay, so today our number is number ten. And you can see I've got the ten piece of Numicon. You can check it by counting how many spots are on it. Sometimes Numicon helps us with our learning, so if you do have some at home, it's a really good idea to get that now. But if not, I really suggest you having some cubes or a, some Lego, some toys, anything that goes up to number 10, okay? Right, shall we begin? So, just like we've been doing, we're going to have a go at seeing if we can make some number sentences or number bonds all the way to 10. Now, this is the most important one that you can learn because it's not just important for your learning and reception, it's useful for when you go up into year one and year two, even up to year six and even when you go into big school and even grown-ups use it. Our number bonds to 10 are probably the most important so you'll need to do lots and lots of practice with this and I think you'll be really good at it. Okay so let's start. You might need to get a pen and you might have all of your objects lined up and just like we've done before we're going to see if we can make a number sentence or you can call it a number bond to 10. So if you've got cubes, what I like to do is break them, get really cross, and see what two groups you make. Again, like we did yesterday. But unfortunately, I only have Isano's bananas, so I can't break those. So I'm just going to pretend I'm breaking them into two groups. So let's start with a nice easy one. I might do my karate chop or I might break it here. go with your cubes or your uh, line of objects and only one on one side and how many on the other side? Can you count them now? You should have nine on the other side. 
well done if you got that right. And what's our number we're working with today? Number 10. If you have Numicon and you don't have cubes, you can always check. The first thing I asked you to do is make a group of one. So you put your Numicon number one there. Then you need to count how many are left over. You use your finger and you put them in the hole. You say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you take your nine piece of Numicon. You might need to turn it around to check that it fits. And it does. One plus nine equals ten. Excellent. Okay, should we have another go? See if I can rub that out. Yes, I can. All right. Hmm, this time I'm going to mix it up. Can you get your line of cubes? Or get your karate chop hand ready? Oh, I'm going to do it here. Hmm, let's count the first group, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Can you have a go at making a group of five? Good. Now, can you count what the other group is? It should be five. Well done if you got that right. Then you need to do your equal sign. How many do we have all together? We have got ten. Do you notice about this number bond? Hmm, they're the same number. We'll look at that in just a second. You will need a number five if you've got a Numicon piece. You pop it at the bottom and then to check if you are right, you need to count the empty spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Then you know that five and five equals ten. And just like you probably noticed a minute ago, they're the same colour because they're the same number. And if they're the same number in an addition sentence, then we know that it's a double. And you can show that with your hands. Five on this hand and five on this hand. Double five makes ten. Wow, that's brilliant. Look at that. I think we can try one more before we run out of time but your challenge will be to finish them all. Okay, put all of your cubes back together or all of your objects in a line while I rub out my line. Okay, are you ready? Get out your karate hand and I'm going to chop mine. Go here. Oh, it's a big group. Are you ready to count? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Can you make a group of seven? Count them out one by one. Off you go. How many do you have in your other group? You should have three. Well done if you got that right. We do our equals. And how many do we have all together? Ten still. Can you read that number sentence with me? Seven plus three equals ten. Super. Now, these are really, really good to learn off by heart, if you can. And there are quite a few more, okay? And your challenge today is to see if you can find all of the number bonds. Okay, you might want to have a think about switching them around like we looked at yesterday to see if 9 add 1 equals 10 or to see if 3 plus 7 makes 10. And there are some fantastic games out on the internet as well. And if you look at the description, your grown up can help you. I've got some links to some really fun games. Some competitions called Hit the Button. That's a really fun one to play with a brother or sister or somebody with you. But you can also play by yourself as well. And um, if you check out number blocks as well, they're really, really good for us learning all of our number bonds. We'll keep coming back to these because like I said, they're very important. But I would love to see some of your ideas and your work 
as well. So that's all from me. I will see you very soon. Have a good day. Bye.